Hi guys, welcome to another case study tutorial. So where we left off last time, we had just put in this text into the header area of our website. So we go and have a look at the live website that we're recreating and see what we're going to do next. And the next thing we're going to do, we haven't got anything in this sidebar area at the moment on our case study site. So we're going to start building that. So the first main thing here is this email newsletter sign up area. So that's what we're going to put in today and it's quite easy to do and we'll use a plugin to do this. Okay, so again, I mentioned this last time, but we're using the Genesis framework and the WordPress child theme Metro Pro here. And the reason I mentioned this is because we're going to use a special Genesis plugin to create this sign up form in our website. So if we go into our dashboard, and we're going to use a plugin and it's going to and it's called Genesis e News Extended plugin. So for plugins, add new. I'll just do a search for that. Genesis e News. And there it is there. It's got a five star rating. It's a great plugin. I, I do recommend it. So I'm going to install that. And we'll activate it. Okay, and there it is. So what this does is it creates a new widget area to put into our site. So now if we go appearances, widgets, you see we've now got this Genesis e News extended, and we want to put that into the primary sidebar. So I'll just open up the site in a new window. So we'll see here, this is a primary sidebar widget area and it actually tells us here, it's on the right hand side. So this is this widget area here. So what we do is we just drag in this Genesis e News extended widget and then we can fill in some fields. So we can give it a title. This is this, so it's email newsletter. So we'll put that in. It automatically capitalizes it for you, so you don't need to do that. And he's got some text before the, these um, input areas. So ours is, put your email below and hear about the very latest deals and website news first. So I'm just going to copy that to save me typing it in. So Control C. It's going to show up before. We could have something showing up after, but we haven't got that here, so we're not going to do that. Okay, and now this part here is, so when people fill it in their email address actually gets stored somewhere. And I use the email management client called MailChimp. There's other ones such as Aweber and there's lots of other ones, but I use MailChimp. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. So it's asking for a form action. And this is a bit of code that basically links your input form to the MailChimp account in this case. So I've got MailChimp open here. So this is a dashboard of my MailChimp account. And if I go through to my lists, and I've got a few different websites, but the one is Turbo Bike Trainer. Okay, so this is my email list. And what I want to do is I need to click on Sign Up Forms. And then if we click on Embedded Forms, this gives us the HTML code if we wanted to embed our form. We don't want all of the code, but we want a section of it. And actually we want the form action part of it. So this is the HTML code to embed the form itself, but we don't need all of this. We just need to go down and look here. We've got form action equals, so that's what we need. So it's actually between the speech marks. So all of this code starting with HTTP to by trainer all the way to here so I'll copy that and I'll paste it in here so that's a form action okay so now that's linked the form so when someone puts an email and clicks submit that now links it to this email list in MailChimp and now we've got this field what we're going to ask for we're only asking for the user to put the email in so we only want the one field and this is email we just need to type in the words 
email and the reason I know to put that is again if I go back to my lists and I click on my turbo trainer list to back trainer list and then if I go settings and then list fields and merge tags you see you've actually got the merge tag email here so if I wanted the first name or the last name or the country you're in I would have different fields here label field field labels and also different merge tags which we put in but we're only using email and then that's it so this is what shows up in the box so enter your email address so we'll put this here and then this is what the button text says and now it says stay updated so we'll do that as well and then we'll save that so if we go ahead to the front of the website and I'll refresh that if by magic we've got that in there now and that's it basically so if I go ahead and put an email in here for example neil at neilcurtis.me which is an email you can contact me at and I submit it I get this prompt because this is what we've set up a MailChimp saying you're almost finished you need to click on a link in the email you're going to get sent out and this is a double opt-in so it just makes it more against spam and it makes sure you're getting real people subscribing so we return to the email address and if I log into my email See, I've got a new message from Turbobike Trainer. Please confirm your subscription. Yes, subscribe me to the list. And there we go, I'm subscribed to the list. And if I go into my MailChimp and go into my lists, Turbobike Trainer, and I'll sort my list by date. There we go, that's me in there, signed up. So that's it, a very quick tutorial showing you how I created this Turbo Bike Trainer email sign up form. And that's it for today. So remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's just to make sure you stay updated with any latest videos. And it's not just his um, case study videos, there's other WordPress related tutorials and even logo design tutorials if that interests you. And also head over to my website, which is www.neilcurtis.me, where you'll find out loads more great information tutorials. See you later.